so I'm going to give a quick uh, overview of my anchor trolley that I installed last week. I haven't had a chance to use it just yet, um, but I've got the parts from you know, various online retailers, uh, some few bits, few bits from Amazon, a few bits from eBay, um, along with a few other tools to make sure I can fit it. But yeah, just going to give you a quick overview. Hopefully, it's helpful to everyone. Um, if not, that's your opinion. But I've done what I've done on my kayak. I've used uh, what other YouTubers and other um, Facebook group members have, have showed me on theirs and what I've picked up through pictures and, and vlogs, etc. So, yeah, hope you enjoy it. Um, any comments on more than welcome. So, I'll start at the, uh, at the bow. All I've done, I've used a couple of trifold rivets um, with a clip here and a carabiner and a pulley. I've, got, I've actually got um, six mil pen, uh, paracord. Um, I've probably gone a bit overkill, but hey ho, it's trial and error for me at this stage. And as you can see, I've nicely got a stainless, stainless um, a triangle, a ring, whatever it whatever is. It all come with a kit. Uh, my kit, unfortunately, didn't come with carabiners, and it didn't come with the trifold rivets or the paracord. So all I got was uh, the, the the eyelets or the hooks, um, the pulley pulleys. There's a couple of um, stainless steel bolts. I think they're M6 or M8 bolts uh, but unfortunately I can't access the inside of the hole with this um, this particular kayak so all I've installed is the trifold rivets on the clips separate carabiners from either eBay or Amazon I can't remember which and then the kit so as you can see I can pull it across um, I've got another clip just on the top line again secured with some sealant That's trifold rivets it goes along um, again my mistake I didn't measure it up I got too excited I've put a clip neck too close to the to the uh, bracket here, um, but hey ho, it's all trial and error. It's all sealed up. It's my mistake. It's my kayak. I'll live and learn. That's how we uh, trial and error. Just say. And what I've done I've at the back, at the rear, at the, at the stern, I've put some bungee cord here uh, just to tighten it up. So when I do actually put it in to the clip when I'm anchored. It gives me a bit of tension uh, rather than have it all flip and flop down. So as you can see, I can put my kayak anchor system, clip it into the clip, flip it to the to the stern or to the bow with some few easy movements as I'm sat down to the front. Here we go, to the bow and then to the back. I can unclip it and then I can just, because it's got the... Uh, the bungee on it. I can't do it with one hand, but there we go. <laughs> there we go, excuse me, everyone. And again, I can just clip it in. I did it with my other hand. Like so, there we go. And that's that's pretty much fixed in position and it won't go anywhere. Happy days, and it can just sit underneath out of the way, it doesn't catch you anything when I'm coming in or out. And I'm launching so again I've got a redo just a temporary box um, it's quite solid I've been out with it uh, hey-ho you might also have noticed I've put a couple of little clips that are not attached to the anchor trolley at all here and um, that's purely just for you know me to put some attachment to while I'm fishing uh, aside what I've got already in place for the anchor kit um, and I've got the rail systems in place which came fitted with the kayak already. Um, I've got one this side as well. Again, it's just I've got some accessories. I can put a carabiner to it. Um, you know, it's not for any droves or any anchors, just purely to put you know maybe a fish bag, uh, maybe tether my, my uh, paddle to. Um, and this is the um, the rudder system. So they can all be done from whilst I sat in the yak. Can redeploy it. It's quite a stiff system, but it does work and it's fantastic to use. Whilst I'm out, it's actually a lifesaver. So. Yeah, patches is really good system. Um, I can put it all on once. Just put that back. I just like that. So I've got a, a two and a half kilo uh, grapnel anchor. As you can see, I've, um, I've got uh, a clip on order, but at the moment I'm just going to use. Uh, what everyone else uses a cable tie a um, metre or so of length of chain just to give it a bit more weight and then I've installed a, a, a scuba diving reel 
and then a short length of uh, paracord which I've actually braided. Uh, I don't know if you can see that very well because of my shadow, but I'll just fix some paracord there, pray it plaited it up, spliced it back onto each other, and then um, uh, use some electrical tape just to seal it off at both ends. Um, but yeah, you don't have to do this, you can use cable ties and a couple of knots, and then a simple carabiner at both ends to attach it with a float if I need to, but again, it's a temporary solution. Um, that's only a cheap little float just as a marker, but a lot of people don't use it. Um, I haven't used it in any anger yet, but we'll see. There we go, it's my anchor system. So this is how you'd fit it. I don't know if that's upside down or not, I don't know. But I'd uh, clip the anchor system in, suit it to the, to the stern of the, the kayak, and then I'd deploy the anchor and that would sit out the back and sit nice nice and tied once I've um, hooked it up um, which is quite, quite difficult to do one end but hey ho I won't try it again but yeah that's my system um, hope it helps everyone there we go